So February is ridiculously simple, which is why we're just going to focus on making an interesting font for this one. Um, again, we're not looking for anything too fancy on this. So what I do and start off with is taking my ruler and I'm going to draw along three of the four edges with a border. So the three of the four edges, that creates my border. So I have my happy floating cells that I like. My next step is, is I'm going to turn my paper sideways here. And sorry, let me adjust. Oh, it made it fuzzy. Okay. So I need to make a total of 13 spaces for this one. So I'm going to come over here. and start crafting my lines. Like I said, I did really simple on this one. Wasn't looking for anything too fancy. Um, each of the squares is a little bit over two inches. Probably not by much though. Again, I just guesstimate because I'm okay with things not being perfect. And as you can see, I really like these clear rulers because I can see where my uh, lines are. So I have one, two, three, four sections. And I'm going to go vertical and create those. And I need to just divide it into three. Now I'm going all the way down because this is going to be my 13th section. Go over here. Oh, wait. Can't forget to get my border. And this time I only go down to that line because I don't need all of it and divide them again okay there we go there are 13 sections give myself a little border on this little square and erase all my crossovers so they all look like floating cells. Again, you don't have to do that. It's just what I like. But remember, you're decorating your background too, so it might be a good idea to have some floating cells. I'm going to go down here to the bottom, create my little border to have my floating cell. lines all right so now here's the fun part with this one because we did a really really simple uh layout for the month of february we want to make sure that our lettering is interesting now i've told you time and time again about creating a skeleton for your letters so that you can play this is exactly the same thing um, but instead of having space between them so much, I'm going to be kind of crowding them when I initially draw my skeleton. So I'm going to have my F E B R U a R Y. So I have them all kind of smushed in there. Now um, I'm going to actually change this and have fun with the font. So I'm going to start over here and I want my 
F to kind of come over here and almost like it's going to reach over here for this A. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this down straight. And because I have this here straight line and this here straight line, I'm going to continue on with my straight line for my E here so that I can keep going on with the lettering and making them kind of combine into each other with graffiti. Graffiti is a lot about playing with letters and how the shapes are and how they look seeing what you can come up with and yet have it still read. So my next one is, is I'm going to bring my B down here a little so that I can take my E and bring it up like that to be part of the B. So that's the inside. And then how it go like this. So there's the inside part of my B and it's going with that. And this one's the bottom, so we'll go like that and have it be the bottom part of the B. Again, I change and adapt how my letters are looking so that they fit with what I want and make them look interesting. So come down here, and again, I can actually use this bottom of this E, kind of connect also with the bottom of the B there. That looks kind of cool. And then I have this here, so it goes like that. So it looks like it's all connected there. Got my F, E, B. My R is nothing too fancy here. Here's the edge. Bring out the, the top part a little bit more so it looks good. Have it be similar in design. But what's cool here is my R can kind of go up for the U. So as you can see, even though I have guide skeletons of my letters, I'm kind of erasing them because I'm going to be changing them up and spacing them out differently. So I'm just going to erase all of those real quick. So I have it. So here is my U. Coming down, and back up, and it's part of my R. So that looks good. Note, this here and this here are similar. That way, it looks like I have continuity. And I'm going to add front part of the U here so it still reads like a U instead of an R into a J all right now A's there they have one straight ish side so I can actually continue this here on bring that out a little bit and bring A down and the top part be right there and there's that. Erase and erase. Now I have another R. If I wanted to, I could bring that out. And that gives me another line like this. And allows me to have a little bit of fun there. I think it's fun. Bring the bottom of the R down, just like we did there. And this one is going to go here. Now, why don't we keep it going up like this? have that and we can take because that went over there like that bring it down and we have R into the Y February 
that's how we do that one.